Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time, we accidentally had a rubber band slip off. I mean, we did, but it just happened now too. <laughs> there we go. Uh, last time, we got all the moons in Crumbled and while permanently crouching. That's quite a small kingdom, so it wasn't too tricky. Uh, although there were some 2D sections that gave us a bit of trouble. Uh, but we got them all the moons. We have a look here, you can see all ten. Uh, so now we're making our way to Bowsette's Castle. Uh, there's a lot to do here. We only got a few of the moons the first time we visited. As you can see, we only have seven. Uh, so if we flip through the list here, we can see... We got the Secret Path. We did that later on. But we also got all the four, the four story moons plus two extras. Uh, so we're going to be getting a bunch more minor moons in this video. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just come over here. If you look closely at these little little uh, Bowsette heads, you can see this one's facing outward when all the others are facing inward. That's a bit of a hint that... Cappy! There's a moon in there. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's our first moon. Uh, we did open up this door on our previous visit, so we don't have to go around for the shortcut. Uh, the next one we'll be getting, you can see all these little Goombas are hanging out here. What we want to do is get uh, as many as we can into a tower. I forget how many you need, and I'm killing all of them by accident, so that might be a problem. Uh... Okay, there we go. Uh, they should be respawning, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe we actually need 10. Yeah. So we just wait around here for a, little second, for a second. They should respawn. And we should be able to get all 10. Um, but yeah, we just stand on that switch there and a moon will spawn. Pretty easy. Uh, they're not respawning. Goombas, where are you? <laughs> hmm. We may need to come back and do this once they've respawned later on, because I accidentally killed a whole bunch of them. And they don't seem to be coming back. Um, hmm. Okay, well let's head up here. There's some purple coins we can get up here. We're going to be trying to get all the purple coins. There's 100 here. Uh, and there is a costume room in this kingdom that we can do, so we do need to get at least some of the purple coins to be able to do that. Uh... Uh, you can see some birds over there, that'll be important later. Um, once we open the moon rock, there'll be some stuff over there, but... Right now there's nothing, just some birds. Okay, we're seeing three Goombas. Okay, and the other ones would still be around the corner there, so they should have all respawned now, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright. Uh, when you have a big pile of Goombas like this, you can still just throw Cappy at them, so nothing to worry about. Okay, there we go. We can just go capture the last few. We might take a few hits, but that's okay. Because getting a moon will heal us back up. There we are. Full pile of Goombas. We just stand on the switch over here. Boop. Our moon spawns. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that's our first moon for this video. Actually, our second moon for this video. What am I talking about? <laughs> Okay, uh, that's about all we can do in this part, so we're going to head on to the next section. Uh, here we pretty much need to get one of these Pokios to climb up the wall. I don't think it's possible to scale that wall without one, it might be, but if it is, it's hard, so... I'm just going to grab Pokio. They are one of the cutest captures in the game. I mean, look at that cutie. Oops. When they do the spin, they... they when you do a spin attack, they do a little pose, it's cute. Anyway, um, let's make our way over here to get these. You can stab them with the with the pokey thing. You don't have to actually collect them the normal way, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's just a moon hit hanging out back here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Easy peasy. Uh, and another Pokio here in case you get stuck. Since if you lost your Pokio, it'll be hard to get back around the other side. I believe that's all that's on this island right now. There might be a moon later. I think that's everything. Uh, oddly enough, if you poke one of these uh, 
power lines as a Pokio, you will capture it. Which is an interesting quirk of the way the game works. Over here you can see that there's a musical note, or well, a treble clef, not a musical note. When we touch it, we will see a bunch of musical notes down here. So what we want to do is try to get all of these without getting spinied too much. Oh god. Okay! Oh. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was intense. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So yeah, um, I believe you can get a Pokio from later in this section and bring it back to kill the Spinies, but doing it the normal way is pretty much the way we want to do it, just for a little bit of extra challenge. Uh, this guy we already had to defeat to get that Story Moon, so we've done that. Just gonna... Duck under there, there we go. Uh, if we make our way over here, there's some stuff we can do on top of the... Um, on top of these roofs over here. So if we're gonna climb up here... And there should be, I think, some purple coins, maybe? I don't remember exactly what's where, so I'm just sort of having a look around. Uh, yeah, there's some purple coins. I believe there'll also be a moon on that wall later, but it's not... It's, in, it's one of the moon rock ones, so we can't get it just yet. Make our way over here. I think there might be a moon on this side as well. Yes. Okay, you can see there's a Pokio there. There's also these little, like, plates in the wall. Like, these little honeycomb thingies. One of them, you can see, doesn't have the middle part. There's, like, a hole there. Uh, there's a couple of holes like this throughout the level. Uh, and you can just stick your nose in and get a prize. Sometimes it's a moon, sometimes it's just some coins. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! But yeah, there's a couple of walls like that that we can just poke our nose in to get extra moons and such. And there are some purple coins over here. Uh, so yeah, this wall, you can see it's the kind you can poke your nose into, so we're just gonna... Oh my god. There we go, all done. Uh, I think that's all we can do here for the moment. Next up we have this area. Uh, this is where we did the smart bombing moon earlier. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff here. It's about, it's like a reasonably big sort of place compared to the first couple. So, let's grab these purples first. There we go. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure where we'll respawn. We might might not have touched any of the checkpoints. Okay, back here. Uh, I'm just going to warp ahead to where we just were, just to save some time. Uh, it was here, I think. Second courtyard. <laughs> uh, pretty much everything stays collected, so we don't have to worry about re-grabbing those purple coins. Uh, Over here, there's some spinies. We already got a moon shard over here. There will be another moon over here later, but it's not here yet. Uh, some purple coins over there. You can see they're a little bit off the edge, so you basically want to throw Cappy at them. Uh, which can be a little tricky because of the restrictions we're working under. Uh, there we go. Small purple coins hiding down there near those spinies, so we probably want to get that too. There we go. Uh, I might grab a grab a Pocky Otis so that I can deal with the, with the spinies a bit more easily. Because, um, yeah, you can't kill them with Mario, but if you poke them with a Pocky O, they do die, so... Oh my god, I'm being swarmed! Oh my god, I was gonna grab that and make my way out. Okay. <laughs> oh no, no! Leave me alone, spinies! <laughs> okay, um... Uh, if we come over to this wall here, I believe we do need to use a Pocchio again once we've gone into the next bit. Uh, here we can make our way through pretty easily without one. Just get over there. Uh, you can see there's like a wall we can follow down there using Pocchio poking into the wall techniques. So what we're going to do is grab one of these Pocchios. There we go. Uh, and then we're just going to hop off of this wall. 
and start pointing our way along the side here. I believe there's a couple of purple coins to be had. Yes, there are. There they are. Yeah, the Pocky is pretty easy to control. It can be a little tricky uh, with smaller walls to poke into. With the regular sized walls, you have no problems. But there's an area with some smaller walls, and I have trouble with that one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And there's a moon there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and that's about all we got to do with this Pocchio, so it's going to hit this pipe, which will turn us back into Mario. And bring us back out here. Uh, if we climb up on top of this this uh, building over here, there are some purple coins. I believe there is not a moon up here though, just some purple coins. Still, we want to get purple coins, so we're going to head up. Uh, it's easiest to climb up with the Pocchio, obviously, considering the way it's shaped. You can see there's another hole you can poke your beak into just there, but that one just gives you coins, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, we got plenty of coins already. There we go. There we go, okay. Um, no. No, Mario, that's not... No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we're probably going to get walked back to the second courtyard again. Oh no, now we managed to hit that checkpoint. Okay, cool. I believe warping to a checkpoint doesn't actually count as hitting it. You have to actually touch the checkpoint after you've arrived at it. Uh, since Mario lands like next to it instead of on top of it. So it's possible to warp around without resetting your respawn point, which is an interesting feature, I guess. Uh, there we go, let's climb up here. Uh, so here, you can see there's clearly some ledges up there. There's obviously a moon up there. Uh, I believe there are invisible blocks you meant to use to get up there, but you don't have to, you can just do that. Uh... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> uh, you can also see there's some purple coins over there. I think we need a Bokyo to get them, so we'll do that in a second. Uh, first we've got to go over here. Uh, these, are, these walls are all kind of, these roofs we're walking on are all sort of sloped, so... You've got to be a bit careful about how you roll, because you will roll off the side and fall if you're... You know, not careful. Uh, Pocky have acquired. Uh, so you can just bring it over here. Climb up this wall. This can also be done as just Mario, so I don't think we actually used a Pocky the first time we did this part. But this part you could do as Mario just by jumping off and getting each each of the coins in one go. Like you have to take four lives to do it, basically. Uh, but with Pocchio, you can just do it like this, and it's much easier. Okay, I think that's all here for now. Yeah. Some more hidden coins here. There are a lot of invisible coins on rooftops here. Uh, like most kingdoms, they've scattered invisible coins around, so there's more stuff to find. Which is fun. Uh, you can stab into used blocks with your beak, which is a handy feature since otherwise it would be kind of hard to climb up some of these places. Um, in particular, an area we'll be seeing shortly. Uh, I'm just going to ditch that block here if we don't need it now. Go this way. Alright, so... Uh, that's, done, that's this area done for now. Uh, we just capture here. We next get to the shop, I believe. Yep, here we are. This is the shop. Hi, Peach. Uh, we're not going to talk just yet. We're going to do that in the B side because it just makes more sense, in my opinion. Uh, there's some purples hidden in this little hole here. You can roll in there, but you're really just supposed to throw a cappy in there, I think. Uh, I always roll in, though. Uh, here's a couple of Jizo we can capture. Uh, we did one of these already. Uh, the first time we were here, we did that one. But... What did we? We did one of these. I think it might have been the harder of the two, quote-unquote. These are both very easy. Let's see if this one needs doing. Okay, this is the one we already did. I wasn't sure. Uh, so there's, yeah, there's two Jizo statues to work with because there are two moons you can get by capturing them. So we get the other one here. We bring it over, past these robots, and down this little cracked area here, which will break when we step on it, and we can put the Jizo over here in this underground area to get the other moon. There we go. Yeah! Uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to make this video. I guess I'll go for like a half hour or so and see how many moons I get in that amount of time. 
Uh, as I mentioned, we do need to buy an outfit here, and we have enough purple coins to do it, so let's give this a shot. <laughs> See how we go. Uh, basically, we want the same outfit that guy's wearing with the, with the samurai horned helmet thing. Uh, we need that. Uh, we also need to buy a moon here, actually, so we'll do that first. For some reason, this is stuffed by uh, New Donkers, even though we're not in New Donk City. I guess, I don't know, having it stuffed by Koopa Trooper didn't... That'd be cool, actually. Ba -da -ba. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do it that way. That would have been cool. Uh, anyway, we talked to this, this lady over here. Uh, and we want yeah, the samurai helmet and the samurai armor. We need this full outfit. Uh, there we go. Um, once we're dressed as samurai Mario. There we go. We can head out this way. Uh, the costume room is just directly on the back side of the, of the shop. If you just come around here, you can see this fellow is talking. So we head in here dressed as a samurai, and we can do... a 2D section. <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! This one might be impossible. Mario's already going down the pipe when it opens. I think I have even less time than normal for this one. Oh my goodness. We may have a problem. Um... Cause yeah, um... Normally when you switch areas with the pipe, it actually gives you a bit more time. This one's giving me a bit less time. Um. No? Oh my goodness. As you can see, I'm already going down the pipe when the area spawns. I haven't got any time to jump. I don't know if this is possible at all. I think it might not be. It's just too fast. Not ready to give up yet though. I think it's impossible. I don't think we can enter that area. Because Maya is already going down the pipe when the area loads, and I don't think we can get a jump in. Oh, wow. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, we might come back and have another look later. But I get the feeling we can't enter that area. Which is really sad. Because that means yet another kingdom we can't get all the moons in. Uh, we don't want to take that one. Um, that's the only other thing to do in the shop. So, we can make our way on to the next area here. Uh, as you might remember, this is where we did the two brutal boss battle and it was really hard because Harriet. Um, some purple coins we can get here. There's also a secret path here. That goes to Bub Lane. We actually already did that because the Bub Lane one is really easy to skip. Um, so I'm not going to bother doing it now, because it doesn't need to be done anyway. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a reasonable reason not to do it. <laughs> um, we can also, you can see that there's one of these power pole thingies on top of there. So we're going to head up there and just head over that way. That leads to this little sub area with three uh, smash, smashy fellows. Basically, you have to just defeat all of them, and once you have done that, you get a moon. Uh, it's not too hard. Uh, it might be hard because of that.
Okay, now we'll be okay. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, this is completely doable. No problem. Third and final Thwompy Man. Oops. Oops. There, so easy. Totally doable. Uh, and there, you just get a moon when you've killed all three of them. Which you can enjoy. To your heart's content. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So that's how I know that these enemies are called ogres because yeah, when you get this moon, this is exterminate the ogres. Which is what I just did. Uh, so yeah, we just zap our way back over here. Uh, not much we can do out here at the moment. Uh, you might guess that there's something we can do with these spots, but not just yet. Uh, we're gonna head this way though, because there's a bunch of purple coins and stuff to be had. doing fine on the purple coin count. Uh, there's a, a bonnet here, a bonnet by biologist over here who wants to know about Pockyos. So we have to bring a Pockyo over here to get a moon, uh, which we will do in a moment. Uh, we also have to go through this uh, power line here. Uh, basically there's some coins you can get here if you match Y at the right time. And then you end up in here and get a moon. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I really hope that 2D error is possible. I think it might not be though. It's just, it doesn't seem to give you a chance before you exit the room. Hmm. Okay, so there's some more purple coins on the other side here, so I'm gonna have everyone get those. And then we're going to grab a Pocchio and bring it back over to that biologist back there. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's not hard to get a Pocchio over there. Uh, you can use the ones from from down there without any trouble. So, pretty easy. There we go. Oh, there's Hintart here too. Uh, I can't look at it while I'm a Pocchio, but you can see that that's somewhere in uh, Tostarina, so we do have to go back to Tostarina to do that. But yeah, you just make your way up this wall and then just walk across to where the biologist is, it's not too tricky. And then you'll be awarded with a power moon for doing so. Hello, friend! Huzzah! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Look how happy that little Bonadier is! Look at that cutie! Oh my god! I love them so much! Look at that happy little friend! Oh my gosh! Okay, uh, over here, we've got the the moon rock is over here. We won't be doing it right now, but we will be looking at the hintar, which is also over here. So yeah, that's just, we have to go back to Chest Arena to do that. Uh, we'll probably be doing it soonish. We might save that for a bit later. There's a couple of other things we have to do in Chest Arena. We might wait till we can do them all at once. Maybe not though, I'll think about it. Um, I forget if there's anything to look at. Yep, there's the Sphinx.
Ba-da-da. Takes a very long time because the Sphinx is so far away. There we go. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so now we have... Uh, 13 moons. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can actually get up there without using a, uh, um, a Bokio. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe. I feel like it might be possible. I just, I'm just not sure. Let's, let's see how we go. Yeah, that's fairly possible. Uh, we got bonked, but it's possible. Let's do it. Yep, there we go, easy. Uh, here there's some coins hidden if you wanted a couple of coins. Uh, then you've got a bunch of those smart bombs over here. We just want to carefully make our way past them. Hopefully without getting hit, but we might get hit. Okay, we didn't. All good. <laughs> uh, there's some more purple coins down there. Easiest way to get them is to capture this Bokio. And then accidentally run into it. Very important part of the process. Yeah, you can grab the purple coins just by like tilting the Bokio towards them, rather than actually flinging yourself in that direction. Which is sometimes handy. If we break uh, this sparkling rock here by just standing on it and waiting for the ogre to break it for us, we will retrieve another moon. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <coughs> Little birdie jumps, there we go. Over here there's some block we can poke, if you want to poke a block. Over here we have Captain Toad. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Thanks Captain Toad. That's that. Um, the next thing we basically want to do is start climbing this wall. So we're going to grab that Pocchio again. There we go. Pocchios are quite short, so they're a little tricky to capture while jumping. If we make our way over here, you can see there's a bunch of purple coins, so we'll be grabbing those. Basically just have to stick our nose in the wall and wait, and we'll pick them all up. Thanks to this uh, rotating thing here. We can make our way over here. We already got two of the purple coins here. How I manage that? It's interesting. <laughs> oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There's some more purples over there. Just gonna grab them like this. There we go. You can just wait for this thing to swing around, but it's faster to go this way, so I think I'll be a little bit faster. Uh, over here, there's a little hole in the wall. I think this one's just coins. It is, but that's okay. Coins are fine to have. Uh, we actually need to bring a Pocchio up here because there aren't any that spawn higher up and we need one at the top. So we're going to be making our way up. We're also going to go this way because the purple coins are over here, as you can see. There we are, pretty easy. We can make our way over here now. There we go. So, we actually do need to have this Pocchio. You can't get one up here. Uh, you have to bring one up from below, like we just did. You have to bring it all the way over here, behind the wall, where these guys are. Uh, then you can poke them, get them out of the way. You can see there's a hole we can poke into here. This is from careful timing. 
I just give you some coins, but nothing wrong with getting a few coins, so we'll grab those. But if you break these boxes, there's another one. And if you put through this one, you get a power moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Cool Leo beans. Uh, you can see uh, we've got Cat Peach over here. We've also got uh, Cooper over there to do the races. Uh, I believe Talker 2 is here too. Yep, there's Talker 2. Um, let me see, 30 minutes. I think this is probably a good spot to stop, actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to walk back to the Odyssey and just cash in the moons we've done so far, and in the next video, we'll be getting some more. Probably starting at about the same spot in Bowsette's Castle. In any case, we're making good progress. Um, that's another 16 moons. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, so next video we'll be getting some more minor moons here and trying to fill out this list a bit more. Uh, there's a lot to do, so we may be a while, uh, but we're making good progress. So, coolio beans. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and um, have a good day. Also, meow. <laughs> meow.